Okay, so here's the fun part. After 600 applications and almost going cross-eyed because every single person who applied is qualified and it just again legitimizes the caliber of this uh, of this award, we have, oh, that, that was me. Elijah Bishop, everybody. <laughs> Um, so we would like to recognize, as Monty mentioned, that at, at really the top of the caliber, going through and, and sharing with you the top ten finalists and a little bit about what they've contributed to, uh, these professionals have contributed to our industry. So we have Elijah Bishop. Elijah is a recognized and trusted figure in the state of Kentucky. He is a creator of fitness programs for at-risk teens, mentally handicapped, and other special populations, including HIV and AIDS patients cancer patients, and the aging community. Kyle Brown, celebrity trainer, entrepreneur, and host of Fox Sport Network's upcoming show, I Want to Be a World Class Athlete. Kyle is committed to combat childhood obesity through his organization, Strive for Fitness, Live Like a Champion, a program designed to offer kids a safe and affordable program that's done through the National Police Athletics League. Frank Campitelli was featured on ABC's reality show Shark Tank. Frank is a leading fitness professional and the innovator behind several fitness products including the Titan 1000, Home Gym, and Nitro Swing Home Gym for golfers and, and other clients. Next we have Lisa Coors. At Coors Core Fitness, Lisa trains real athletes, those who are afflicted by disease, joint and back dysfunctions, ability challenges, and athletes who have been sidelined by injury. She is striving to define a new model of personal training. Jolie Glassman. Jolie, owner of South Florida Boxing, one of the longest standing gyms in Miami Beach, is the energy behind several community-driven programs including Lean Teens, offering after-school boxing and self-defense classes for students ages 11 through 17. Astria Goolsby, founder of Verve Health and Wellness Consulting, Astria provides fitness and wellness programs for over 10 local schools, boys and girls clubs, job corps, and city officials to provide health and wellness programs, policies, and training. Mike Koskeniemi, excuse me, Koskeniemi. Mike is the creator of SOAR, which stands for Student Optimization and Readiness, an innovative online live system that allows schools to have their students exercise daily with a certified fitness professional. Next we have Valerie Ness. Valerie is the CEO of the award-winning Catalyst Fitness Midtown, a 15,000 square foot facility located in Atlanta, Georgia. Catalyst Fitness is Georgia's only medically recognized personal training performance enhancement facility. Grant Roberts. Grant's resume includes speaker, writer, host of a top-rated radio show in Los Angeles, blogger, advisor, and consultant to the U.S. military and Surgeon General, celebrity trainer and philanthropist. He has approximately 2 million followers using his Grant Roberts Unified Lifestyle branded applications. And finally, we have Joe Venare. Joe has taken his in-home training to a 12,000 square foot fitness center outside of Pittsburgh to what is now a four-company international fitness empire that is developing innovative and top-notch online programs, books, DVDs, instructor certifications, and manuals. So it's a pretty good crop of uh, professionals to be with. So here's the exciting part, and I'm going to keep you all in suspense before I announce the winner, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about the winner um, and, and what our judging panel, and, and again, I think as we've already uh, elaborated here, it's not just about being a fitness trainer. It's a true professional in this industry, and all 10 of these finalists model this. Um, but this winner...